And the search is on for a driver. Deputies say caused a rollover crash. A family of four rushed to the hospital. The pictures there of the aftermath telling the story. And tonight, the victims are talking about this terrifying ordeal. Welcome to Coin 6 News. I'm Cole Miller in for Emily Burris tonight. This happened on Highway 99 just south of Sherwood at around 930 last night, leaving a man and three children shaken up. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling is live in Newburgh for us. And Jennifer, you just spoke with that family. How are they doing? Oh, they're pretty shaken up, as you mentioned. And as you can imagine, it was a rollover crash. It sent them tumbling and spinning last night at around 930. And uh, friends are really throwing their arms around the kids. The girls have received these adorable stuffed animals, well wishes uh, from friends and family. The girls involved range in age from 12 to 14 years old. Their dad was driving, and he tells us he feels lucky they all survived that crash. Now, the Washington County Sheriff's Office issued a release saying this all happened at around 930 last night on Highway 99 near Southwest Chapman Road, south of Sherwood. Deputies arrived to find Nathan Farrell and his two kids and a friend in their Mazda 3 on its side. The family was able to unbuckle their seat belts and help each other crawl out. About two miles down the road, deputies eventually found the driver's 1993 Ford Ranger in a ditch, but that driver was nowhere to be found. They later learned that the Ford uh, was waiting to turn from a crossover in the middle of Highway 99 and pulled out in front of the Mazda, which was heading south. The Ford truck hit the car, which forced it off the road, and it rolled. If it would have happened 50 feet earlier, we would have hit farm equipment. If we would have rolled another time, we would have been in a pond. Now Nathan says he was driving his two daughters and their friend back from the Highland Games where his girls volunteer as part of a Girl Scout project. They were all taken to the hospital for treatment, but none of their injuries are life-threatening, thank goodness. Nathan does have a swollen neck and bruised ribs. His daughter has a brace on her wrist and her friend suffered a black eye and broken nose after this crash. Now witnesses say the driver and his passenger were actually picked up by another car which fled the area. Deputies are investigating DUII as a factor in this crash. Crash, and they're asking anyone who might have information on who the driver is or what might have happened around the time of the crash to contact the Washington County Sheriff's Office. And we'll hear from the girls themselves coming up at six tonight. Back to you, Cole. Jennifer, thank you. A family is.